Hey guys, I've been wanting to pick a lock here for a while today. I tried earlier and I tried one of Fast Charlie's locks and I could not get it. It was, it was a hard time. Not to mention that the kids were bugging me and I must have tried six or seven different times. But anyway, there is no key for this one, but you can see out the back there it says Click Click Fail by Pick Me. And there is no key, so... I guess we can just give it a shot and see what happens. I don't want to fail after the first two clicks, but we'll see. Pick me makes some tough locks, and it's been a while since I picked one, so I thought it'd be fun. Okay, two. Gave me a little turn on the core there. There's a little bit in the back. Okay, got a little more turn. I think that was pin five. Three's giving me a little counter. Click. Okay, a little turn on the core from three. guess is this is a six pin core getting a little bit out of five or six Three is still going. I hope that's not the fail part. Two is giving me counter. Not getting a whole lot here. Okay, I'm going to switch my method of tensioning here. We will go top of the keyway now. So we do have a lot of space, might as well. There was some counter there from three, then two. Okay, got a turn from six, five. feel for the next binder. I think it's maybe one here. Uh, and some counter from five. Wish I could find my shotgun. I think that would be nice for this lock. Okay, I think I got one set there. Good turn on the core. Making sure there's nothing giving me feedback a little further up. Nope, Pick Me is doing all right. It's been a long time since I've seen him around. Long time. You know, we did our first trade, and then after that, I didn't see. Yeah, he's been gone for about. Oh, he's been gone for six months or more, probably. I was really looking forward to seeing him pick my last lock that I made for him. I made a bunch of locks for him, and 
You left the most difficult one for last, but I still haven't seen it picked yet. I'm sure it'll be back someday, though. Like I said, my most difficult lock, but for him, it's probably not too hard. Guy's an amazing picker. Hmm. I don't know if I'm having problems with pin one here, being stuck behind the tensioner or what, but let's look. Yep. That's one of the one of the hardest things to get used to is getting that pin one set. It's really hard too for me sometimes. Unless there's a real low cut in the back or something. Find the next binder. Let's go with the shorty. Okay, I think that was five. And now six. Got a Good false set going now. Two. Feel one go a little bit, a little bit more. Counter from one, deeper false set. Ooh, even deeper. And we got her open. All right, seven minutes and 30 seconds for my first try on a pick me. Oh man. Oh, I feel good after that one. And I didn't even fail. Awesome. We're going to look and see what that, uh, what trap he's got in there. Because you know he's got something crazy in there. I'm sure. All right. Keep this in frame. Oh, failed. There's the fail. Okay. This down. Get all this stuff out of the way. Man, I feel great getting that open first try. Any pick me lock you can even open at all is a, is a victory. So we're gonna be really careful to not lock this up again because we don't have a key, obviously. I like how we got the tag connected on here. It's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, sorry, that was off camera again. Oh well, I'm pretty sure you guys believe me by now. I'm sure there's a couple who might not, but that's all right. There's always someone who's never happy. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Key pins are up. And we are good there. Okay. And we got uh, threads in one, two, five, and six. And three is undercut. One is a single serration. Two is a few serrations. Three looks like a, a tapered pin. Four is a T pin. Five is a serrated. And six is a single serration. Let's see. Okay, there's the front. Where are my tweezers? There they are. Okay. I think I would finally learn how to get prepared for my videos, but 
These are usually just on the fly whenever I have a few minutes to mess around. Oh, that's crazy. We're gonna have to take a look at all these. I'll get them all pulled out. And we'll look at them individually here. Really nice spool there. Came out that way. Copper spring there. And there is a serrated there. All right, serrated T-pin. That's the T-pin we were feeling. Okay, whoa. That is a super long pin in six, which makes sense with how, sorry guys, with how small that key pin is there. I really need to use the viewfinder more when I'm doing this. Super serrated, with that little thicker serration towards the uh, shear line. We've got, I don't know if that stuff up top, we'll see. And we got a drunken spool there. Man, I feel really good after seeing a drunken spool, too. I am horrible at picking those sometimes. But I have been feeling better with my picking skills lately, like I said in a couple of other videos. And up top, up top we've got threads in one, two, five, and six. I know you guys can't see them perfectly well in there. It's kind of dark down here for some reason. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at the pins. You can see chamber one got a nice little single serration. Chamber two's really nice deep sharp serrations in there. And three, there's yeah nothing down to three. It's a standard. He was being nice to us on that one. But here's a here's our little overset trap for that one. It's not terribly tall, but there's our T pin on the. Pin four, pin five, we've got serrated. And chamber six, we've got a single serration. And that's pretty much the most you can do with pins about that size, is throw one serration on them. And here's a crazy one, look at that. We've got uh, serrations with serrations upon serrations, kinda, that's the way I would put that. And almost kinda spooly action there too. And here's an, another one with serrations upon serrations. You can see how thin some of those get. So that's a that's a serrated spool. That's what we'll call that. Serrated spool of a different kind than what we're used to. But And then here's a really beautiful little T-pin. I like that with the serrations. And you can see he even tapered it near the bottom too. And here is his serrated drunken spool as well he's done a lot of work to these and then yeah that's the way that one came out with that little thicker serration near the bottom but fully serrated there and then in chamber six we've got another super long almost like i want to say it looks like almost a double spool with serrations upon serrations on the top of it so yeah that's what we got there for click click fail I'm glad I did not fail, and uh, I'm pretty sure Fast Charlie sent me this one, so thank you for sending this. It's been a while since I've gotten to try a pick-me lock that, uh, that I can actually pick. I've got another one around here that's just been kicking my butt. I should probably send that along to someone else. It's also a dimple lock, so but, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for sending this lock, Fast Charlie. I'm glad I got a chance to pick one of them. I was... Uh... Yeah, I was working on this one a little bit earlier, but that's a whole different story. Um, yeah, I'll try to get that picked before I send it out to Locke and Paul. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.